Hey, welcome to the program. Glad to have you here. Great radio stations across the land. Newsmax TV, iHeartRadio, it's the Joe Pag Show. Thanks for stopping by on a Tuesday. Crazy Train Tuesday. Uh huh. E A O U. Sometimes why? It's the vowel. Carrie, it's the vowel song, right? I know. So you think it is? Oh. It's not really. It's really not. No. Okay, I got you. Mm-hmm. No. It's a crazy train Tuesday. Lots to get to. I uh, and um, I'm really glad you tuned in today. Full slate. Including um, another police-involved shooting. This was an unarmed black man in Tulsa, Oklahoma. We'll talk about that. We'll also, uh, next hour, it's going to be Eric Trump, his own self, on the radio show. We'll do that bottom of next hour, hour number two. Uh, We talk about a lot. Uh, We focus, obviously, on terrorism. We have to because uh, of what just happened this past weekend. And the fact that even though we, we figured that his father, Donald Trump, would be um, focusing on finances and business and getting people back to work in the economy. Really, he's had to focus on terrorism because that's what's going on. So we'll have Eric Trump next hour. Uh, We'll also talk about um, the allegation that women find men with beards sexier. Hmm. Now, let me tell you, as a man who can grow a a full, healthy, really lush beard. (laughs) What? What? I couldn't hear you. I'm sorry. Sound, sound like a, were you sorry. choking on something? What Did was you that? Hear that? Okay. That was sorry. odd. Please. Um, <laughs> I'm here to tell you that men with beards are not sexier <laughs> and are not more attractive. I've made the decision. I made an executive decision. They are too. That's just yes. not true. Now Facial your husband hair. doesn't. Yes. Your husband does not well, have a beard. It's not a beard. Well, he can't a, grow one. Let's a, be honest. A goatee. Oh, you better stop. From what you I understand, he can grow a back know. beard, but not. <laughs> Much no, else from that. Facial hair. So we'll talk special. about that at some point too. No, oh, okay. we'll, we'll have to go there. Um, the big thing, though, today. Do you see this? We've what got terrorism in New York. Yeah. We've got Obama at the UN telling the uh-huh. UN that he believes that Americans shouldn't have freedoms. Yes. That we should give up freedoms so hmm. we could be more a part of the world or some crap. Uh, mm. we, we've got a former president deciding who he's going to vote for. We'll get mm. to that in a second. Mm-hmm. We've got this police-involved shooting. And what's Crazy. leading every newscast everywhere? Brangelina. Brangelina. They're breaking up. Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie yeah. are yeah. getting a divorce. Mm-hmm. Now, the they were, they've been together a long time. And they just got married two years ago because, remember, the, the thing was, we will not get married until gay people can get married. Right. And I, I was like, that. okay, so which one of you is not the gender you say you are? Because I'm not really sure I understand. Why do gay yeah. people have to be able to get married for you to get married? You appear to be a heterosexual couple, but who am I to decide? Right. Um, okay. But that's the biggest news anywhere and everywhere today. One thing we won't talk about more than we're talking about it right now is the fact that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie are breaking up. I don't care. Mm-hmm. I don't either. From a new segment I, I like All to call, over. I don't care. <laughs> and you shouldn't either. <laughs> okay. So it's a new segment that we have. I don't That's care. Nice. Um, I, I do, however, and we're going to get in depth into the Tulsa shooting. We're going to get into that as much as we know. That is a big story that's happening today as the video has just been released. Have you watched the video, by the way? I have not seen the video. Do I've watched the video. It? I don't get it. Uh-huh. Hmm. I don't understand why the man's not alive anymore. Right. So we'll talk about that at length. I've also heard from people say, well, see, we'll see. now do you see why they're protesting? Well, no, I don't. Uh, well, I mean, I'm not stupid. I know why they think they're protesting. But I'm here to say that, again, we're going to take an isolated incident. One that I'm not sure I understand why this man died. But um, just like Walter Scott in South Carolina, I don't know why he's dead either. Uh, but but you've got people who are going to be held accountable if they did something wrong. So we'll talk about that at length. I really want to do that. But I have to start out with the one thing that you would assume when there's a Democrat versus a Republican is that a former president who is a well-known Republican would vote for, I don't know, the Republican and you we're getting assume, news today. You know. Has there been any verification by the family, by the way? No. Not that I've seen either. Not that I've seen. So yeah. I'm holding out hope that maybe, just maybe. She's wrong. Maybe, just maybe. 
this is not right, that this is incorrect reporting. Um, but you've got one member of a very, very famous Democrat family saying that the patriarch of a Republican family is going to vote for Hillary Clinton. If you would, please mm-hmm. give us the story. I shall. President George H.W. Bush is reportedly voting for Hillary Clinton in November, according to a Facebook post from John F. Kennedy's niece. The post by Kathleen Kennedy Townsend, the former lieutenant governor of Maryland and daughter of Robert F. Kennedy, shows her posing with George H.W. Bush with the caption, the president told me he is voting for Hillary. Townsend writing on Facebook under the name Kathleen Hardington has been a longtime vocal supporter of Clinton's campaign. Jim McGrath, a Bush family spokesman, told The Guardian the vote President Bush will cast as a private citizen in some 50 days will be just that. A private vote cast oh, come in 50 on. days. What a cop he is out. Not commenting on the presidential uh, race in the interim. So I guess that he's going to vote for Clinton then because otherwise they would have said, uh, no, nah, that's not what's going on. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the one thing that I don't want the Bush family to do, and I'm a big supporter of George, uh, of George W. Bush. Um, he made mistakes, but I'm a big supporter of him. He would have been exponentially better had he you know, continued being the president instead of what we ended up getting. Uh, George Herbert Walker Bush, what, what, a, what, a, what a dumb thing, the whole read my lips crap. I mean, that was just dumb. Uh, and it was used against him, and he lost because of that and because of Ross Perot, who got 17%. Uh, George, George Herbert Walker Bush would have beaten Bill Clinton by double digits had Ross Perot not been in the race. Having said all of that, I, I, I respect them as former presidents. I've always respected the Bush family. In Houston, uh, where, where he's based, you, know, you might know of my, of my talk show. I think they probably do. They know that I've been big supporters. I took a picture with um, uh, with, with what's uh, what's the, the 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 younger Bush, George W. Bush's daughter. Oh, um, uh, what is her name? I took a picture Jenna. with her. Yeah, Jenna Bush. We took a picture with Jenna mm-hmm. Bush when she was in town and did a selfie of a selfie and then posted it everywhere. I, I like the Bush family, but what the beep? What, what are we talking about here? Mm. Really? Really? He's a, and you know what this is about? What? Well, about how Jeb? Trump went after Jeb. That's all this is about. Yeah. Well, that plus um, George Herbert Walker Bush, I think Bush 41 is what we know him as. Mm-hmm. Um, he's also friends with Bill Clinton. They did the whole thing. Let's help the world and the global initiative and all this crap. I, I, I don't get it. I don't understand. And, and, and what's worse, the fact that he allegedly is going to vote Democrat for Hillary Clinton or that he allegedly confided in a Kennedy and the Kennedy blurted <laughs> it on social media. No. What's worse? I mean... Um, blurt it out. I, I I trusted you with that information. I just I didn't realize you'd go all <laughs> Snapchat on me. I mean, so we've got that, and and I have to know. I know there are a lot of Republicans who are never Trumpers. I get that. I know there are a lot of conservatives who don't think that Trump is conservative enough. I understand that. Um, but there are a ton of us who are or never Hillary, and you'd have to imagine that the former president of the United States, a Republican who is a Reagan conservative would say, no way I can go Hillary. I mean, if he says Gary Johnson or Jill Stein, I still don't get it, but I get it more than, than mm-hmm. I would get a move like this. So your thoughts, 1-800-383-9624, 1-800-383-9624. Is the patriarch of the Bush family really going to vote for Hillary Clinton? They haven't admitted it. We don't know if this is real other than there wasn't a denial. So you're saying there was a Bush family spokesman who said, eh, we're not going to tell you what he's going to privately do. That is what I'm saying, yes. That's what he said. I, I have to know private. what you think. I, I have to know what you think about the private thing. We're not going to tell you who we're voting for. Not going to tell you. I could I could probably work mm, on a George Herbert Walker Bush. No, that was really Not going to go there. Not going to tell you who to vote for. I'm tell- no, I could probably dude, do one. I could terrible. probably. Dude, it's, not, it's really not work bad. On that. You need to work on that. Well, one. don't look at me work for a second. Going to vote, Hillary? Gonna, no, oh, it's not working. Kind of sounds like Ross Perot. It, it's no. kind of a Ross Perot, <laughs> George Herbert Walker Bush um, hybrid, is, is what bad. it is. Let's let's not. You know, got to suffer. Thing. You people got to suffer. So there we could do a Ross Perot too, but but there's that is not really going to happen, is it? Is he really going to vote Hillary Clinton? I don't know. Is I mean, is that really going to happen? And I guess the third part of the question has to be: Does it really matter? Because this guy is going to vote for Hillary Clinton, are people going to go? You know, damn, I was going to go all Trump, but forget it. Bush 41. I don't think so. I mean, he's saying, I'm going to have to vote Hillary then. No. (laughs) I don't think so either. 1-800-383-9624, JoePags.com. Stay right here.